This is Nightcap National Park in northern New South Wales. It's part of Australia's ancient Gondwana rainforests. These rainforests are incredibly biodiverse, but not just in plants and animals. This is a belete. I've found these in everywhere from Tasmania right up to here. And it's red on the top, it's yellow underneath. I'll just pick this one so you can see it. As you can see, it's bright yellow underneath and it's foam-like rather than gills. So lots of little circular pores and the stem is sort of ready colored but animals like to eat it. So something's had a few bites out of it there, another bite out of it here and as you can see inside the red is just this yellow color. So I presume it's quite edible but I'll let someone else eat it first. These ones are really spectacular. This orange red fungus is just like a flame. So not surprisingly they're called flame fungus. I first came across the flame fungus in the wild forests of southwest Tasmania. The botanical name is Clavaria miniata. Okay, and what have we got here? This is a Quartanarius. They grow on the around the gum roots. As you can see he's got gills rather than a bolete and he's red on the top and sometimes you get these and they'll be quite bright red. So this might end up as quite a good day for mushrooms. Mushrooms everywhere. Now this one's a new mushroom for me. I've seen one before on the internet just recently, but the person who took it didn't know what it was either. It's about five centimetres high and maybe one and a half centimetres uh, across the, the cap. And it, it's shaggy. And it's a bolete, sort of yellow underneath when it opens up and the top is a mauve or purple. So it's quite a pretty mushroom and at least to me it's new. So that's always exciting. Same sort of mushroom again. Yeah, he's a beauty of me. I found out later that they were actually called Bolitellus Hemodensis, which is commonly called the shaggy cap. So I wasn't all that far out with my description. It's been found on the coast all around Australia. It's amazing what you can discover in a three hour fungi foray. Eh? 